Okay, today we're going to be studying rectangles and we're going to be proving theorem, theorems about parallelograms and use coordinates to prove simple geometric theorems algebraically. And we'll be working on mathematical practices 3 and 5. So previously we've used properties of parallelograms and we've determined whether the quadrilaterals were parallelograms and today we're going to recognize and apply the properties of rectangles and determine whether parallelograms are rectangles. <clears throat> One new vocabulary word, but it's not so new to us. It's rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram. It has four right angles and then following are some of the properties, the definitions of a rectangle. All four angles are right angles. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent, well, because they're all 90 degrees, right? Consecutive angles are supplementary, so 90 and 90 is 180. And the diagonals bisect each other, so in addition, the diagonals of a rectangle are also congruent. In Theorem 613, we are told that if a parallelogram is a rectangle, then its diagonals are congruent. And we've got some abbreviation using our notation. So let's look at an example. We have a rectangular garden gate, and we see that it's reinforced with diagonal braces. See, if you don't do that, then it sags after a while. <clears throat> we are told that JK is 12 feet, and that LN is 6 and a half feet. And we're asked to find KM. So you might want to pause for a moment and note what they're, the information they're giving us so we can go on. So since we're told that JKLM is a rectangle, we know it's also a parallelogram. Rectangle has four sides. Definition of parallelogram has four sides and the opposite sides, two sets of opposite sides are parallel. We're also told that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So LN is equal to JN. So by the segment addition property, we can say JN plus LN is equal to JL. And since JN is equal to LN, we can substitute LN in place of JN. So 2 times LN is equal to JL, and we, we are told that LN is 6.5, so we know that JL is equal to 13. So if JL is congruent to segment KM, if the parallelogram is a rectangle, diagonals are congruent. So by definition of congruence, we could say they're also equal. So KM is equal to 13, which means KM is equal to 13 feet. So time for you to check your progress. So pause the video for a moment, then come back and check your answer. Did you get seven and a half feet? Very good. We are to find JG. JG is half of GE, and GE is congruent to FH. So FH is 15, and half of that is seven and a half feet. Now we're going to use the properties of rectangles in algebra. So we're told that we have quadrilateral R, S, T, U, and that is a rectangle. Now if the measurement of R, T, U is equal to 8x plus 4, and S, U, R is equal to 3x minus 2, we're told to find X. So if we have a rectangle, then all four angles are equal to 90. So the measurement of TUR is 90. The diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other and are congruent, so we can say that PT is congruent to PU. Since triangle PTU is isosceles, the base angles are congruent, so we can say that angle RTU is congruent to angle SUT, and that the measurement of angle RTU is equal to the measurement of SUT. Since they're, they're both equal to 90 due to angle addition, we're going to substitute in, uh, since the measurement of RTU is congruent, is equal to SUT, we could say that we could trans, uh, substitute RTU in for SUT. And now we're given RTU is 8x plus 4 and SUR is 3x minus 2. Set those equal to 90, add like terms. 
Now let's start solving for x. So x is equal to 8. Time for you to try your hand. So pause the video for a moment, then come back and check your answer. Okay, very good. I got x is equal to 10. I ended up setting uh, 6x minus 5 plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 90. So then I combine my like terms. 10x minus 10 is equal to 90. I add 10 to both sides, then I divide both sides by 10. So x is equal to 10. Now for the next section, we're going to prove that parallelograms are rectangles. <clears throat> the converse of theorem 613 is also true. So if the diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then that parallelogram is a rectangle. Let's look at a real world example. Some artists stretch their own canvas over wooden frames. This allows them to customize the size of a canvas. In order to ensure that the frame is rectangular before stretching the canvas, an artist measures the sides and the diagonals of the frame. If AB is equal to 12 inches, BC is equal to 35 inches, CD is equal to 12 inches, DA is equal to 35 inches, BD is equal to 37 inches, and AC is equal to 37 inches. Explain how an artist can be sure that the frame is rectangular. Well, since AB is equal to CD and DA is equal to BC and AC is equal to BD, so the sides, each set of sides are equal and the diagonals are equal, we can say that those sides are congruent. And because they're congruent, we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram. So since AC and BD are congruent diagonals in parallelogram ABCD, it is a rectangle. So time to check your progress. So pause for a moment, then come back and check your answer. Very good. Since the diagonals of the parallelogram are congruent, STUR must be a rectangle. Excellent. So now let's look at rectangles and co coordinate geometry. We're given that a quadrilateral JKLM and its vertices, and we need to determine whether JKLM is a rectangle using the distance formula. Well, the first thing I do when I'm working one of these problems, of course, is to sketch it so that I know which sides I'm comparing to which. So I know I need to see if JK is congruent to ML, and if KL is congruent to JM, and then I'll be looking at the diagonals. So sketch it out so you can see which points you're comparing. Now I'm going to use the distance formula. As you see, JK and ML have the same distance. KL and JM also have the same distance. So since opposite sides of this quadrilateral have the same measure, they are congruent. So quadrilateral JKLM is a parallelogram because opposite sides are, are congruent. So now let's determine whether diagonals of parallelogram JKLM are congruent. So KM is the square root of 50 and so is JL. So since the diagonals have the same measure, they are congruent. So parallelogram JKLM is a rectangle. All right, time to check your progress. Sorry folks, but you got a lot of math to do. Remember the distance formula. If you don't, go back and look at it in your notes. So pause and then come back and check your answer. Why, of course it is. I got that WX and ZY both have the measure of the square root of 5, and XY and YZ both have the square root of 20. So yes, those are congruent. Let's try another one. Now they're wanting to know about the lengths of the diagonals. So you have to go back and use the distance formula again. Pause for a moment then come back and check your answer. Well on X, Z, and W, Y I ended up with a square root of 25 which is 5. So very good. You are ready to begin your assignment. Well done. 